What's up guys? Uh, I am the lead trainer here at Self Made Training Facility. My name is Antoine Rarkis and I specialize in taking yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm great. I'm a great taker. So welcome to the first episode of this powerlifting series, or should I say power building because that's literally what I'm doing. Personally, I'd uh, prefer, you know, these three days be grouped into one video rather than me putting out 51 or two minute videos. So sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. It is finally time to train. I just got done with my meetings and Leah's here. Yes, we're about to work out. I don't know where we're about to work out, but we are just gonna warm up. Is it focused? Oh, there's a light. There it is. So today we are gonna work out some shoulders. Um, Cause tomorrow I start my meat prep. So I don't wanna really do anything too heavy. Uh, but yes, we're gonna work out shoulders and take you guys along with us. Now make an eye with your body. stance on the bar, probably like hit it more. There okay. you go. So while Leah is having fun in the jungle gym, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So, key things with these, we're gonna just do barbell pulls. Imagine there is a quarter behind your back and you're trying to keep that quarter there. By pinching your shoulders, that's basically the idea of it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That was the end of that. That was and am I focused right now? I'm gonna let Leah introduce herself. You know, as always on this channel, I like to talk about. I like to ask people about their passions and what their drive is. Without further ado, Leah. Woo. Okay, so scream. Okay, my name is Leah. I'm 22. I'm a student at. Uh, City College here in San Diego. I enjoy work, working out. I enjoy feeling good. I enjoy, you know, a healthy lifestyle and I love to inspire people. I love to make people feel better about themselves. I love to help people feel healthier and be better. Basically, I 
would love to help people become the best version of themselves possible. So yeah, there you have it. That is the conclusion of our collab. It's funny actually, I put on my story who wants to collab and Leah messaged me and you know what? If you guys are ever in the San Diego area or if you guys are in the San Diego area and want to work out together or collab, I am always down to meet up with you guys and always down to basically get to know each other because now, now I have a new homie, right Leah? Yes, by the way, follow me on Instagram. It's Leah Mariana S and my YouTube. Go support my YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, yes. I will put all her stuff down in the box below. Um, go follow her on Instagram, follow sub to her YouTube channel, and maybe we'll do this again, right? Yes, but for now, peace out. Happy Saturday, everyone. I just got done doing an open gym, which went very well. Uh, thank you to everybody that stopped by. Now it's my time to work out, and and I'm so ready for this because watching everybody working out really got me so pumped. Um, but I'm just gonna go put this laptop away real quick, and then we get this workout started. Let's do this. So welcome to the very first commentary that well, I've done so today is a heavy bench day and here you see me basically just using the band um, tying up to the pull-up bar and helping me stretch my shoulders as well as my lats uh, what I like to do on training days is work on the mobility of the basically the parts I'm be using that day so today would be the triceps the lats as well as my pecs so I learned all these little uh, gimmicks or exercises from the book Becoming a Supple Leopard which will be up on the screen right now and I basically studied this book for mobility and really it helped me out a lot especially with my squat form and my deadlifts so yeah <clears throat> take a it's I think it's like 20 bucks on Amazon so if you guys want to grab it uh, I'll put the link down below but here I am really stretching it getting my shoulders really stretched out there um, because I know that I'll be hitting some heavy bench. All right, moving on to the bench. Um, I, I see this a lot, and really it's one thing I like to change. People don't warm up with a bar, and that's, it really baffles me that people don't do that. They, they immediately put like, what, 225 or 135 on the bar and warm up with that. Um, I, in my opinion, is that is very dangerous in a way because you, you, you're not warming up your joints, you're not warming up your muscles or tendons, and you're not progressively putting the weight on. So that means you just prone for injury. Like I said, I'm progressively moving the weight up, um, and a lot. Of, I know probably a lot of you guys right now are asking why do I have an arch? What's up, Matt? <laughs> why have an arch back on the bench? Um, so with powerlifting, and I think bench in general, you should keep in mind that your three points of contact are your feet, your butt, and your shoulders. So the initial drive from the bottom of the bench, you are pushing with your legs. So you're using your quads um, and pushing towards the rack. And instead of pushing straight up, you can see me rotate my, my shoulders or my wrist like I'm revving a, a motorcycle. And that's just to ensure a, an arc of the press. All right, next up I have some upper extremities, I mean just kidding, um, some upper chesticles and really this, the fir being the first workout, that it was a lot, a lot of volume so I was struggling on this set as you can see it on my face. Um, I, I think at this point I had the entire gym to myself and it was either get the rep or die. So yeah. Got it. Cool. Awesome. So, I actually have the 
entire facility to myself now. Um, everybody went home because it is Saturday. Um, so I'm actually gonna turn out the music, turn off the music because I love, love, love a quiet gym like this to where I can basically just focus on me and my breathing. Um, I'm not even gonna go any music in my earphones. So yeah, I think next I have dumbbell flies. So I'm gonna set you guys over, set you guys over here real quick. How was that? Before I get to flies, I am going to put my weight on. So I just finished up with the flies over there. Um, and the next thing I have are three sets of max on dips. And I was gonna do them on the bench, uh, but I feel like I'm just gonna utilize these rings over here and get a little bit more of the stabilizer muscles. So these are actually more difficult than they seem. Um, it's a lot of stability work. <laughs> Definitely harder than it looks. That was my last set, so on to the last one. So the last thing we have, last thing we have are uh, supinated push downs on the cable. So I will take you guys over there right now. And that should, this should be the last thing on the work, for the workout. So nice, quick, short workout, only a few exercises, which I love because you really get to focus on the movement itself um, rather than worrying about what to do next. So real quick with these, what I want to mention with the supinated uh, tricep pushdowns, you can see how I'm flaring out my fingers. Um, that's because I really wanted to get a uh, external rotation of my elbows. It's just another variation to do these pushdowns. But here you, again, you see me with just a regular supinated grip and really focusing on squeezing and rotating the uh, my elbows out. That the end of that workout. So I did a little scavenger hunt last night and found my old phone um, from a couple years ago and there's some throwback stuff on here I want you guys to look at. Eventually. So finally made it back home and on my way home I picked up some natural style chicken you guys saw my summer shredding series this place was literally my home away from home uh, when it came to meals but since I am on prep right now I am going to be still weighing out my food um, all it really is is just some uh, white rice and chicken so I'm gonna weigh this out track it in my fitness pal and let you guys know what the macros are so from this meal, there's three, about 350 grams of rice in here, as well as 13.1 ounces of chicken. And the total macros for this meal is 10 grams of fat, 74 grams of carbs, and 108 grams of protein. I'm also gonna have um, a serving or two of Nuts and More's Toffee Crunch. Yep, that's bomb. As well as, let's see, maybe it's two servings of Ghost's Peanut Butter Cereal Milk. Yes. So yeah, so that's probably gonna be the meal for today. So it is technically my first meal of the day. Um, I know, I know, I know. I Michael, you've been up since five. Why haven't you eaten yet? Well, really, it's because I love. Um, and I, I get distracted sometimes, and I know it sounds weird to say, but I sometimes I forget to eat because of how much work I'm doing, how much hustling I'm doing. Uh. So it is the next day. I am not sure what you guys just saw last, but it is Sunday today, and I just finished volunteering at the hospital. Now I'm here at the facility to get uh, a workout in, and I'm gonna try not to show much of this workout because you guys already seen two workouts for me. So I'm um, just gonna show a little bit of this workout and then what the rest of the day has to offer. So let's get it.
and just oh my gosh dude just finished up that workout um anyways i am about to go eat and wyatt is here you guys seen wyatt before um we are going to All right, we are going to plan out this entire week because we have a lot of stuff for you guys coming. Um, he has his own business, I have my own business. Uh, we are going to collab here, which we do a lot here at Self Made. So you guys will see that. I will put you guys here in tripod to see where we go. But yes, I'm going to eat. I have generally the same thing I ate yesterday, which you guys saw, yes. Dude, this dude just dropped freaking marker in my food. I think. Damn, that's. I should not do that actually. <laughs> what? what the are you doing, what? dude? dude PG 13, just... man! I'm just open. Just finished up that meeting, wrote all Learn our sleep, goals, Come on, man. all our goals. Dude, I want to go to sleep right now. Pretty much on this whiteboard, we had written all our goals and how we are going to attack those goals for the week. Man, I can't even speak right now. I'm, I'm tired, dude. I'm about to start this over. No, I'm not. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. But yes, he is working on his script because um, aside from doing personal training, online coaching, I do professional videography work uh, here in San Diego. What's going on, Point Loma? Wyatt Wormager here, sports performance coach and personal trainer at Self Made Training Facility, Mission Bay. Come and see me if you want help improving your health and fitness or your kids. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> this dude is so stupid! <laughs> Ah, look at him. He's going off his stupidness, dude. That was so bad. It will happen. I'm actually going to end this video right here. Yeah, I just had a good idea. And you know how we always end these videos. Shut up, Wyatt. I'm trying to end this video right now. This is more than just a game. This is Wolf Time Athletics. Call it all the shots you think she's got me figured out.